Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here with the recent closures of gyms worldwide due to the coronavirus. I thought I would detail one of Arnold Schwarzenegger's home workouts. The coronavirus has gripped the world with scientists and medical teams working round the clock to prevent further spread of this virus. Although gyms and fitness centers are closed in most parts of the world, this does not mean you have to lose your gains. There are also many things you can do to protect yourself, your families and communities, including eating a whole food diet mainly composed of fresh fruits, nuts, vegetables and quality cuts of meats, as I recently explained in a separate video where I outline the recommended dietary advice for vegans, vegetarians and meat eaters that will help boost your immunity. That video will be linked above and included in the description. Um, keeping active and following the guidelines are necessary to ensure your safety and health as well as of those around you. Now here are the guidelines outlined in the US and to be honest, they are the same worldwide. The, the guidelines are very similar here in Europe. Make sure that you do your part in preventing the spread of the coronavirus by following these guidelines. When possible, work from home or if possible, also do your schooling from home. If you work in a critical infrastructure industry, for example, I work in the medical industry, I'm a scientist in a hospital, we have to do our responsibility um, in our particular uh, jobs, but in our own work industry, there will be guidelines that we need to follow. So please follow those strictly. Avoid social gatherings in groups of more than 10 people. In some parts of the world, you're not allowed to be in, in, in groups of people that are more than five people, you're not allowed. So please try and follow these, these uh, rules. Where possible, use, uh, for example, um, delivery options, pick up drive throughs uh, and avoid discretionary travel. Again, if you need to do some shopping and you can do it online, then do that. Uh, or, and of course, try and avoid social visits. And speaking of social visits, try not to visit patients at hospitals. Many uh, hospitals do not actually allow that because most patients are immunocompromised uh, or elderly. And these people will be in the risk, in the higher risk group um, for, for, uh, for getting this infection of this disease. So please try and avoid that. And finally, practice good hygiene. This does mean washing your hands, especially after touching frequently used items or surfaces. By, by that I mean doorknobs, going in an elevator and pressing those the, the buttons to, to the floors to close the doors. These, these commonly used surfaces, tap handles, right? Um, again, door handles, what, what, what else can there be? Um, when you're out and about, uh, for example, uh, what else? If you're, if you're paying uh, for your parking, right? All of these frequently touch surfaces. There's many, there's many, of course. You want to wash your hands because a lot of people will have touched these surfaces and therefore you could uh, easily contaminate yourself. Um, and, and having mentioned that, you also want to try and disinfect frequently used items and surfaces if you're in a workplace. Avoid, of course, touching your face, especially um, your, your, um, your, your, around your mouth and your nose, because here is where the virus can actually have access into your body and cause infection. And finally, if you are, um, if you find yourself with the need to sneeze or cough into a tissue, uh, try, try and do this into a tissue or into the inside of your elbow. And of course, if you find yourself with any kind of cold-like symptoms, it's just best to stay home. If you find you have a fever, then you should definitely uh, uh, call your doctor as soon as possible because fever is, is from what I understand, one of the highest um, or most common symptoms of the coronavirus, uh, of having a coronavirus infection. So if you have a cold, best to stay home. But if you start running a temperature, I would definitely recommend calling the doctors immediately. Before going into the details of Arnold's home workout, if you of course have a dumbbell set or a barbell set at home, then you're set, literally. I mean, you can continue and should continue to train at home as this will also keep you fit and healthy and help in preventing acquiring this disease. Now, if you're not fortunate to have a home gym, um, then you can have a great workout by simply following Arnold's home workout as listed. 
Arnold does suggest doing this every day, but of course that's up to you. That's, in, in, that's up to your own discretion. The workout is as listed, push-ups, which will work your chest, triceps, delts, and core, dips, which also work your triceps, chest, and delts, rowing between chairs, working your back, arms, and core, sit-ups, which work your upper abs, bent leg raises, which work your lower abs, twists, which work your obliques and low back, squats, which obviously work your legs, single-legged calf raises, an excellent exercise for working the calves, and the close grip chin-up, which works the back and biceps muscles. Now, I know that, for example, Arnold has already listed this on several platforms, but I'm going to, to I'm actually going to go into great detail because this book, this uh, particular um, home workout comes from Arnold's book, The Education of a Body Buddha, the classic book that Arnold wrote many, many years ago. And believe it or not, it can be a very, very challenging workout once you start trying the more advanced stage of this particular workout, which includes many, many reps uh, of these particular exercises performed for many, many sets. And that's what I really want to focus on today. Now, besides detailing every single exercise in the program, I do want to emphasize the variations that Arnold talks about and how you can actually make these bodyweight exercises more challenging at home. Now, to perform a push-up, you want to have your hands shoulder width apart initially, your body to form a straight line. As you can see in the photo, Arnold has um, his body perfectly aligned. It is a total body um, exercise, the push-up. Bending at the elbows, you want to inhale and lower your body to the floor with your chest to touch. You don't just want to flop down onto the floor. And then you want to exhale as you push up and repeat for about, and, and what, what Arnold actually does say is you want to try and, and achieve 50 repetitions. That should be your first goal. If you can't do that initially, at least within the first month, that should be your uh, particular goal that you set. Um, who knows how long this coronavirus is going to go for. So it is a very good uh, number to aim for. But for those, as he says, that are already athletically capable, there are variations. Of course, um, you can have your, your uh, elbows wider or shorter. I mean, you can even do this with a single hand if you, if you want. Uh, you can do single-handed push-ups. Um, but the variations that he specifically talks about in the education of a bodybuilder is that, for example, instead of just aiming for 50 reps, let's say you are capable of doing 50 reps in different uh, variations of the push-up, then try and do diff uh, several sets of 50. I mean, that's going to be one hell of a workout in itself. Try and do two, three, four sets of 50 reps of push-ups, and believe me, your chest, your triceps, your shoulders are going to be absolutely pumped. Now, the next exercise that Arnold talks about in his home workout is dips between chairs. You want to take two strong chairs, and I can't emphasize that enough. You don't want to have wobbly ones because, because you are going to be balancing yourself on these two chairs. You want to have two strong chairs. You don't want to injure yourself. You want to have these chairs back to back, parallel, and shoulder width apart. You want to grasp the tops with your hands, as shown in the photo, and bending your legs at the knees, you begin to balance at the top position. As you bend your elbows, breathe in and let your body come down as down as, as possible, um, as down as possible. And then you want to press up and exhale as you come up. And of course, then you want to repeat this up to 50 times. That's the goal that Arnold sets. Try and do 50 repetitions. And of course, challenge yourself after this. If you can do 50 repetitions with ease, then do several sets. I mean, try and do try and do this at home. Try and get four sets of 50 push-ups, followed by four sets of 50 dips. Man, you're going to murder your chest at home. It's a great, it's a great ex uh, exercise combination for your chest, triceps, and delts given by Arnold. Another excellent exercise that Arnold gives right after the dips, you want to use those chairs again and row between these chairs by using a broomstick. You can see the setup in these photos taken directly from Arnold's The Education of a Bodybuilder book. You want to have two chairs that are about five feet apart or approximately one and a half meters apart. Again, the backs of the chairs should be parallel to each other and you want to put a broomstick or a wooden rod across the tops as shown again in the photo. You want to grip the, the broomstick or the rod at the desired width, ideally at, the, at its ends, 
and keeping your heels on the floor, body completely straight as shown in the in the uh, diagram towards the middle. You can see Arnold's hanging at the bottom. You want to pull yourself up and hold that contraction for a second or two and then let yourself come back down. You want to keep your body straight as you do that and repeat for about 50 repetitions. Again, just like the push-ups and dips, Arnold asks you to challenge yourself and once you can perform 50 reps with ease try and do this for several sets it's a killer for the back the fourth exercise listed in arnold's home workout is the bent legged sit-up you want to start with your feet under a piece of furniture and you want to have your knees bent making a 45 degree angle to the floor that is your legs should make a 45 degree angle your lower legs should make a 45 degree angle to the floor and your thighs should make a 90 degree angle with your lower legs as shown in the photo above. You wanna have your hands at the waist, at least at the beginning and exhaling to contract up. You wanna then inhale to come back down and you wanna establish a rhythm, very important. This is something that Arnold stresses. You wanna have a rhythm when you're doing the sit-ups. You don't have to come all the way back down either. You can kind of come all or three quarters of the way back down and then come up um, almost to the very top you don't have to touch your chest to your knees at the very top but you want to maintain this rhythm and basically start establishing a burn in your abdominals and and have this rhythm going um, as he puts it by not coming all the way down you make it a little bit more difficult and it keeps the contraction in the in the abdominals you want to repeat this for at least 50 times and then perform sets again just like i i, I um, mentioned before arnold asks you to challenge yourself try and do several hundred repetitions even like 200 repetitions if possible uh, and of course there are variations to the setup you can also try crunches at home as shown in the photo below the fifth exercise listed in Arnold's home workout is the bent leg raises. You can clearly see uh, this demonstrated by Arnold in the photos here. Uh, Arnold lies on the floor with legs straight out, hands underneath his buttocks and chin on his chest. He inhales and then exhaling, he pulls the knees to the chest and then inhaling, he straightens out the legs. And of course, you want to repeat this with a goal again of hitting those magic 50 repetitions. Hitting 50 reps in any of these exercises is a very good target. Once you are able to do this, you want to really start challenging yourself and of course, start doing sets of 50 reps. Of course, there are also other leg raise variations which you can try, uh, which of course uh, include things like um, hanging leg raises or still on the floor, straight leg, leg raises. All of these can be changed, of course, in your workout if you wanna uh, increase the variety. Now here's an excellent exercise that was used in the silver and golden era, especially for tightening up the waist. The bent over twist is one that you don't see perform much these days. I mean, a lot of people do these on machines, but it's really, you get a way more different feeling and doing it with a broomstick i mean it's it's actually it it might sound ridiculous that you grab a broomstick and do it but this is the way it was done back in the golden and silver era uh, the twist was supposed to really tighten up that waist everybody wonders i mean it is our vacuums are the only thing that they actually did back then to have that tiny tiny waist no the bent over twist or the standing twist was was also a very very important uh, exercise in muscularizing the waist and keeping it very very small so you want to grab a broomstick and have it behind your neck have a wide grip standing with your legs apart and straight bent forward at a 45 degree angle and you want to twist in semicircles as clearly shown here by Arnold in these photos and again just like with any abdominal exercise you want to establish a rhythm a rhythm with your breath that synchronizes with the movement very very important a target of 50 repetitions is again recommended once you can do this go for 200 300 i mean i know that arnold frank Zane, and a lot of these guys did hours of, of abdominal exercises every single day they would do it 45 minutes straight in, in the morning then again in the afternoon i mean this is how they 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 were able to develop these tiny muscular uh, waists next on the list is squats of course how can you have a golden era workout without including squats as recommended by arnold schwarzenegger himself here we have the uh, option of performing now a raised 
or flat-footed squat. Arnold actually gives both versions in his book. And to perform the raised um, squat, what you want to do is you want to put a thick book on the floor. It's probably very hard to see, but you can see it in the um, figure on the far right because it's taken. the photo is taken from the side. He's got a very, very thick book. Um, of course, you don't have to use a book. You can use, for example, a uh, piece of wood or whatever. Something that elevates your heels is very, very important. You want to stand on that book with your heels and have your toes on the floor. This, of course, is going to stress the movement on the front, right on the front of your thighs, which is your quadriceps, of course. You're going to have your feet about 30 to 40 centimeters apart, not too wide. So it's actually going to simulate doing a hack squat, believe it or not, putting all that stress on the quadricep muscles. It's an excellent exercise. Uh, inhaling, you want to squat down to parallel and rise up on the exhale. And Arnold does, again, emphasize, this is something a lot of people don't really um, focus on, is the breathing. Especially when you do the squats, you want to emphasize on your breathing and you want to hold your chest high. Arnold does state this, again, with, with echoes of ribcage expansion here. Of course, the squat is not just a total uh, body exercise, but it also really works your cardiovascular system. Again, breathe deeply, hold your chest high repeat and he he um, actually states try and go for sets of 50 to 70 repetitions that is pretty challenging if you can do that do it for several sets you're going to be winded at the end this is a brilliant brilliant workout now the second last exercise that is listed in arnold's home workout is the single legged calf raise much more dif difficult than performing uh, you know calf raises uh, with both feet on the floor again you want to use a book or a block or something that's going to elevate you off the floor but this time you're going to stand on this elevated surface with your toes of course you can even use a step in your home if you're if your um, home has stairs whatever just just have your toes on an elevated surface so that your heels can hang off that particular surface if you can hold on to a chair or something uh, for example if you're doing it onto the stair on the stairs hold on to the railing um, to to um, help you balance and so you don't fall over you want to have your feet parallel this is something that um i've also been told by a lot of old school bodybuilders a lot of people um, try and do the single legged calf raise with the foot out try and do it with the foot parallel it is much much harder trust me um, so you want to inhale as you lower your heels towards the floor and then you want to raise all the way up onto your toes very important especially to try and cramp up the calf by by really stressing by going all the way up on your big toe this is very very important and i like that arnold emphasizes this because this is something that reg park steve reeves vince geronda everybody talked about it's not just about bouncing up and down on your toes no you want to really emphasize go for that second lift if possible at the very top and try and put all that pressure on your big toe and you want to then come all the way back down it is actually much more difficult than you realize to do a proper single-legged calf raise. You don't just pump those reps out. No, you want to perform each uh, very, very um, strictly going all the way up on your toes. You want to try and perform 50 reps per foot, an extremely difficult task to do. Believe me, if you can manage that, then you must already have diamond calves. Now, the final exercise given is the close grip chin-up. You want to, if, if you have, of course, the luxury of a chin in bar, that's great. But if you don't, then I don't know, use a tree, something. Just, just try and perform this exercise. As Arnold says, it's one of the best exercises that you can do with your own body weight to really blow up your biceps. Ideally, you want to use a supinated close grip with your grip at about 25 centimeters apart. Now, Arnold in this particular photo is doing it with a pronated grip. Of course, there are variations. You can do this with a wide grip. You can do this with a medium grip, um, with a short grip, a very close grip, supinated, pronated, neutral, whatever. But for, the, for, uh, for this specific exercise where Arnold talks about really stressing the bicep, you do want to have your arms supinated in a close grip. You want to hang off the bar, arms straight, inhale and pull up, contracting the biceps, really trying to um, think about your biceps and you do this and exhaling, you want to lower slowly and then inhale and repeat again. Arnold does stress, just like Vince Gironda used to, make full movements, go all the way up and then hang at the bottom. Very important to do a full movement in a chin up. And of course, repeat, if you can do 30 repetitions straight, 
then that's fantastic. Then you want to do this for several sets. So there it is, Arnold's home workout with all the details and variations as listed in Arnold's classic book, his first ever book, Arnold, The Education of a Bodybuilder. If you have enjoyed watching this video, please like, subscribe and share. Remember again, to prevent the coronavirus infection, please follow the guidelines, stay safe and keep training. Very, very important. And of course, remember to keep it old school. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye for now.